Welcome, Taylor Schilling. Hi, guys. How are you? Hello, how are I'm you? Good. Oh, God. Have a oh, seat. Psychopath. Who? Megan, I don't want to say that. <laughs> <laughs> Megan I'm Kelly? Just reading, no, no, I'm just reading off your headline thing. Oh. <laughs> yeah. I'm not saying that Woo. on my own. Woo! Oh, you're Alex, jo oh, Alex morning, Jones everybody. called. Hello. Oh, Alex Jones said you. Oh, you're right. Alex Jones <laughs> said she was a psychopath. It was some weird quote after. What a weird, contentious after interview relationship they have. Alex it's Jones. Not, and... it's a, he, it's somebody, yeah, needs to just keep it keep it to himself a little yeah. bit. Play your cards closer to your chest. Right. right? I'd say. You know yeah. what I mean? You don't need to wear your heart on your sleeve every time. No. And right. no one's interested. Right. I mean. Well, I, we do like to watch people do what we consider falling apart. I or, love gossip. Or, it it is kind of fun to watch. Like it's like a spectacle. We enjoy. You know, it. I think I can I can appreciate that. And then having just like a whisper of experience with what am I need to do? Just bring this a little closer. Uh, can you hear me now? Yeah, oh yes. Good. All right. Uh, I I understand that. I I think that's a, that's very human. And I also now feel uh, you must feel this on some level. Like having having some level of visibility. It's a terrifying notion. I mean. You realize that, like the the people that you're actually wa watching with interest, as their lives kind of dissolve, could be y you. Like Abs absolutely. You but I after... try to be honest. So I think if you're yeah. honest, if you're honest about yourself, and you, and I totally, I totally, it helps. no, I, t I, 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 I live by the same. Um, Sort of the same ethos. Myself. And I don't do anything to make his life fall apart. Like, I'll, if it's happening, I'll watch it. But I don't. Uh, I don't encourage people to. Hey, boycott him. He said that. Or hey, that guy shouldn't say. It. You know what I mean? I, right. I don't contribute to that. Plus, when bad things happen, it's comfortable to know it will never happen to you. So enjoy it happening to somebody yes. else. Because I will but never make a mistake. But that is not the case. What? Oh. <laughs> what do you mean? We it's... all live that way, and then all of a sudden, the house. Burns down. Well, it yeah. changes. What, what gets you in big trouble, or like, like which wouldn't have last year, it does this year. And you're like, oh, yeah. I didn't even know that was a thing. And you right. want to talk about it in the wrong way, and people are all over you on Twitter. Yeah. Well, I mean, I think that what's happening this year is that is that issues that were there last year and all of the other years that you've been talking about them are now just on the surface. And so they're, they're, people are reacting to them in ways. That's, that... that's what a lot of people say, that this, that this big reaction has always been there, but there hasn't been a voice to the reaction, and that's right. just people becoming have a been public silent. thing. I mean, people have, I mean, I, I think that the, you know, the uh, many minority voices have just been unheard. Right. That's and part so of now it. And we're, now we're just hearing it. But also part of it is the reaction, and I think Louis pointed this out, how you react instantly. Like, our reaction now is instant. Mm -hmm. So on yeah. social media, you're seeing everybody's oh, that's another instant of reaction, and it's not just like, no one just goes, huh, let me think about that. Yeah. And I do this. I'm guilty of it, too. Like, I just, uh, I mean, I, I said something about Kim Jong-un I shouldn't have said. Like, you know, we <laughs> all make these little missteps. <laughs> you don't want to say anything negative about that no, guy. No, I like That's... to be fair. I don't, I don't even want to touch that. With <laughs> I'm sure he's got his own reasons. <laughs> right. Yeah. Right. Especially because no, really... Dennis Rodman follows you on Twitter. So Absolutely. It's going to get back to <laughs> Does him. Does he really? Oh, that's, that's a relief. It's going to get back funny. to him. <laughs> oh, yeah, I know. You, do you yeah. shy away from stuff like that, too, because you're a public figure and you're like, any any stance you take is wrong to 50% of the people. You know, I wish that I could sit here and say I feel so confident in, you know, all of my thoughts and feelings that I, I just, you know, I'm an open book with everything. But I, I, I am aware of that. I really am. And I think that it's almost like this... It, it, the the feedback loop is so quick. It's almost like you can read people's minds, or people can read your minds with social media. And so there's no like it's what you're saying that there's no space to kind of breathe and think and sort yourself out before, um, <laughs> before you respond to something. Sorry, I'm sorry. I'm just receiving calls. <laughs> it's okay. Thanks. <laughs> uh, but do, do you know what I mean? Like yes. it's like a and and that that for me that level of pressure for me. It, uh, that overwhelms me. Like it's I'm also, a, I'm, I get, I get, I don't, I, I need a little, I like, I need a little bit of like rehearsal and space. And being an actor too, it's different because like when I say something, when Jim says something, like our audience kind of knows us as people, so yeah. that's they kind of can gauge where our opinions might be. Right. But like if somebody knows you from Orange Is the New Black, they are probably just like whatever they think. I'm sure I love her on the show, so well, she's going to think what I think. It's, an, it's a confounding thing that I've also been experiencing now doing this show for five years. <laughs> that there's uh, that people conflate me and my character. Right. So I, I or my character and I, I don't know. Me, me and my character is fine. My character and I. No, my character and me. My character is my character and me would my, be. Me and my. But you're not supposed to say me, me first, but I always oh, yeah, do. Yeah, 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 yeah. You're right. I forgot that. It's role. my character and me. Um, my character and me. They give, so the conflation happens, and uh, it's um, 
I never imagined being in this position, like where people, I, I mean, it's like, you know, people really think that, you know, uh, you know, like, Tony, well, RIP James Gandolfini, but like the, like, you know, the yeah. idea that like he is Tony Soprano or something. Then you hear him talking, you're like, oh my God, his voice doesn't, you ever watch the pilot for the Sopranos and then you see the first episode, which I think was shot two years later, how different the voice is. Like, yeah, yeah. He, he's totally, he sounded I nothing. Mean, I, I remember that just from watching the first season of it. Yeah. Not even, I can't even really remember exactly the pilot, but I, that is so there's a, a, already a lot that people bring to the table expecting, uh, uh, you know, having expectations of what I'm going to say or think or. So on that. So it's not it's not quite carte blanche. Sometimes I wonder about that. Like it would be kind of fun to just be a person. You know what I mean? Right. Well, do you get guarded then and not want to say certain things publicly? Because <laughs> of course. <clears throat> yeah. Because the worst that can happen, you know, I always figure like we're all afraid of being wrong. <clears throat> Like, the worst that can happen is I say something and I'm wrong. Right. Like, uh, and I, and half the time I am. Yeah, but if Taylor's wrong enough, it's headline news. Well, Whereas, I mean, like, if we're wrong, it's just like, yeah, those douchebags on the radio were wrong. They're wrong every morning. Like, yeah. that's what they do. <laughs> that is true. Because we talk a lot. So when you talk a lot, you're wrong more often. <laughs> yeah, you're wrong used to it. Like, generally in life, I really subscribe to the, to the mode of living, to the design for living that you're speaking of you just sort of like throw stuff out there and sure. let it happen but I, I i do think it just becomes so overwhelming in my personal life when you know i say something and then the, a lot of people are responding to it just on your day-to-day kind of like getting coffee and stuff right it's i'm like i can't i don't know yeah <laughs> Yeah, do you, how do you feel about, like, you can't go anywhere without people knowing who you are? You can't do anything without people no, knowing who true. you are? No, that's not true. People, no? nobody knows, people don't know who I am. People know who Piper is. Well, they recognize you. Right, I see, yes. People know that the girl from, the uh, the girl from Orange is the New Black. <laughs> <laughs> Piper! That's what happens. Which is amazing, because Piper is an actual person, and they don't recognize so the actual Piper. No. She can walk down the street fine. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's no, no I problem. No, I ran into her the other day. We live, yeah, we, yeah. No, she's fine. Oh, is it based on a real person? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she's got a book. She's got the whole deal. Oh, yeah. 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 So in that in that regard, because I was thinking about it, like as the show's evolved, like it's not really Piper's story anymore. It's the story yeah. of everything Absolutely. in the prison. Do you kind of like that? Well, I mean, it's a mixed bag for sure. I mean, I, I like, I, the, I can't imagine being on a better show in terms of where we are culturally and politically. I feel like I'm kind of on the right side of history right now. Mm-hmm. And I'm really happy that we're uh, uh, dealing with the issues that we're dealing with. And I think I think that the show found its sweet spot. You know, like right. it was the, the 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 what we did the first season. And you know, if you saw the first season, it just was basically. This Piper Kerman, or her experience of being incarcerated, and that's not that's not the that's not the story of Oranges and Black. Right. That's not the story we're telling. Right. That was just the entry point. Yeah. So, you know, uh, but yeah, I think it's. I mean, it's nice. It's nice to have so many great people to work with. That's a pretty. I mean, I learn a lot at work. I From work, the other actors. Yeah. Yeah. Le- legitimately, like uh, we work with. They're such skilled. Artists, yeah, that and you I get, really learn a lot from. Them. And you've been nominated for your. Have you won or just been nominated? No, sir, I haven't. When won. you when you when you go, okay, when you so you're nominated and you go. I mean, does it really? People say that ah, doesn't mean I'm just happy to be nominated. But does it does it suck when you don't win, or you honestly just don't? Sure. I mean, I think after a period of time. I mean, the the honest honest answer to that is that I I don't really buy into the world of like. Uh, like awards, awards very much it sort of is like this cult of like winning and losing that i just don't believe in i just don't think it actually exists but when you think you're gonna win do you kind of yes, believe in it for that's a second what I'm saying. Yeah. it's like yeah. it's a really strange dichotomy because i live and like i can really get on that train of because it's really how i live like i don't really believe in it I, there's like too much gray and but when I, someone wants to give you an award you're like, like ah. sure. well, yeah. actually well, I guess, maybe i am the best yeah. all right I guess I i'll heard. take it they've legitimized this but, operation I mean, yes yeah. you know what now i think they're really on to something you're right some well, are better and some are worse i think <laughs> That's how I felt. And then, of course, you know, the next season when you're not nominated, it's back to the, yeah. this is bullshit. <laughs> Fuck the man. Yeah. Who, who did you lose to when you lost? And, and when you when you go into it like against the person or whoever beat you, are you thinking like, oh, God, I don't have a shot against that person? Like, like no. You know, I don't even, rem- I honestly, I don't even remember. I, I, I mean, and that the also, it's like, you know, 
everything is true. It's like all of these are like both and questions. Because while I, it was really exciting to just be sitting at a table with people that I was like, or and I wasn't sitting at a table with them, but I could see them in the room sure. that I really respected. <laughs> You're Wait. in the conversation with them, right? Yeah. Someone else's. Not, not I yours. Act, I, we yeah, weren't having a conversation, but somebody else was talking about it. Did you go up and talk to anybody who you wanted to meet? Yes. Who, I got very bold one night. Who did you go up and talk to that you really wanted to meet? Uh, Jessica Lange. Oh, all right. That's a good one. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's a really good one. Yeah. And I had a really intense experience that I thought would never, that I've just laughed at or secretly judged when I've heard people in my position right now share this. I've mm -hmm. just had a lot of judgment. But I got, I got a little teary. What did you say to her? Did you get weepy? I did. <laughs> I don't know why I'm telling you that right now. Were you drinking? You uh, no. Oh, you're sober. So what yeah. did you say to her? You see her, you see her there, and you're like, okay, I have to say hello. Yeah, because she was her. You know, I think for many people, her film Fran Francis. Have you seen Francis? You should see Francis. I don't remember. No. It's epic, epic performance. I still love her in King Kong though. One for the ages. <laughs> oh my God, she's Louise. What an incredible woman. I mean, she went from she King Kong to like she's she's a, tremendous. A, a, yeah. a goddess. So yeah, no, I just expressed to her that her. I, her, you know, way of storytelling really influenced me, and it made me feel like I wanted to do this for my life. Who she, else do you feel that way about, Sarsa? Um, she's probably the, you know, she she may, and that might be why there it got like a little like misty eyed, yeah, because she may be like the ultimate for me. Right. There, there are there... so many things that like about her on so many different levels that I just I I've, I've, I'm such a uh, fan I'm just an, humbled by I also I felt that way about Diane Keaton when oh, I okay. first when I first saw Diane Keaton she I, just got a big award a big like lifetime achievement award no one invited me uh, no they, <laughs> but, but they said Woody Allen <laughs> spoke Pacino spoke yeah. uh, Warren Beatty guys that never talk anywhere actually yeah. came out and they said it was a pretty fun event because she's in, she's she's extraordinary you know what I mean she brings such she brings a reality to what she's doing that it, it, it is unparalleled let's yeah. not leave Faye Dunaway outside either <laughs> for Pete's sake who doesn't love Faye Dunaway did you watch did you see Feud uh, the series I haven't watched that oh either. my god like I, I was like uh, I I was a fan of Jessica Lange in the sense that like uh, you know I mean I, I was a fan before kind of peripherally because mm -hmm. like Cape Fear and everything American Horror Story and then when she popped up on American Horror Story I was like wow I started to get like into it yeah and feud like blew me away Did especially it? like the last I told Jim that he has to, like the last two episodes are like the greatest television I've ever seen except for Orange Is the New Black. <laughs> <laughs> nice save, nice save, yeah, nice thank save. you. Uh, yeah, she's yeah, maybe amazing. I'll have to watch it. No, she's she's really extraordinary, and she she has brilliant work on stage. I mean, she's the real she's the real deal. My wife likes Diane Keaton, like is obsessed with her, but has never seen a Woody Allen movie. <laughs> just Why? Likes, like, it's like from uh, what has she seen? Two Godfathers, and that's the beginning <laughs> no, and end of Diane just, Keaton. Oh. She doesn't even know the Godfather. It's everything after that. She likes all. She likes like eighties, like. Uh, baby boom and baby stuff. boom and on for Diane Keaton. What else what has is she it? done? Fam the Family Stone, remember yeah, that? Yeah, yeah. And like uh, the what else has she done? All that stuff. But like Reds, have you seen Reds? No, With no. The Dwarn, ba it is Reds, right? It's there's an S on it. Nobody. I don't know. There anyway. There's an S. Reds. Thank you. Uh, yeah, I was like, hope it's not Red. Um, <laughs> but yeah, no, no. She's brilliant. She's a brilliant actress. She's I really. She's a brilliant actress. I'm Warren very... Beatty wrote that, which is probably... He wrote Reds? Uh-huh. What year was that? He just had one he did, which didn't do well. He hadn't done a film in like 15 years, and he right. just did one. It was, oh, it was a Howard Hughes thing. Yeah. I think he might be a little Howard hughes out. Like, we know a lot about Yeah, Howard it was an hughes. interesting story to choose, right? Like, because that story has been told. It's yeah. interesting. I, ha I actually haven't seen it, and I'm, I'm, I'm sure that he has a really specific point of view, because he's a very, very bright man. He, well, he also, they think, took 15 years, and, like, when you're fixated on doing something, right. you might just, like, not focus, like, oh, yeah, other people, have, you just want to get this project right. out there, and then by right, the time right, you do, right, it's like, right, right. you know. I'm very curious about uh, uh, your next film that I was reading about called Family. Oh, great, because, like, I've also said things that I'm totally not supposed to say. I've totally screwed up talking about that movie. Have you? Yes. <laughs> we have to wait until the movie is done, and then they tell me what I'm supposed to say, Are and you then still we can filming talk it? about it. No, but they're making it now. Oh, and oh. you don't really know anything. Well, what have you said that you weren't supposed to since you've already said it? I mean, no, I can't. I don't want to talk about it. You don't want to talk about it. No, all I mean is that they're like creating the movie now, and you know, it's you like, said you got Fago poured on you. Um. Oh yeah, that's real. Well, you know what we can talk about? Do you know about the insane clown posse? That's all. We I, do I don't know, even care yes. about the movie. I yeah, just want yeah, to talk yeah, about yeah, Juggalos yeah, yeah. yeah. because I've actually I have I'm uh, friends with them. No. Yep. See, that's what I was going to ask because. Mm. When you see this movie, they say it's about uh, 
juggalos and juggalo culture. Yes. And like I was worried because it could just end up being like a juggaho project. You know what a juggaho is? <laughs> no. Okay. What is well, that? That's, that's, I, was, I was worried about it. A juggaho is like a fake juggalo. <laughs> And oh. like juggalos don't stand oh. for juggahoes. Oh, so it's like a poser within the juggalo community. Exactly. Yeah. No, the juggalo community is very tight. I have a gr- uh, huge family. amount of respect. It's family. Right. Family. Yes. How can they tell if you're a juggaho though? Whoop 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 whoop. You really know what you're doing. I love juggalos. I'm a big. Whoop. Yeah, I, I spent some time in my youth uh, listening to the insane clown posse. Did you really? It's not. Yeah. How do they know if you're a fake juggalo though? You could tell if you're a juggalo. You can spot I mean, a juggaho like a mile real away. Deal. It's like they f- Fago, down with the clown till I'm dead in the ground. Yes. Mother effing clown love. Yes. They called and me a you- fake. <laughs> but I just yeah. I was I was at the juggalo gallery. I'm like, how about that insane clown posse, guys? Yeah. That, like, that, they thought that was kind yeah. of fake. Yeah, setting. they'd be like, no, thank you. Yeah, so they're no, that's a real deal. I have a lot of I mean Did you become down with the clown till you're dead in the ground? Was I down with the clown till I was a, I had I had you some have mother, mother motherfucking clown, clown love. love. Yeah, I had some motherfucking clown. That's incredible. <laughs> I experienced some. No, I like really, I have to say, like, there were, the thing was incredible because for this movie, blah, 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 there were all these, there were juggalos that came to support it because they knew it was like a That's juggalo dope. positive. <laughs> yeah, juggalo <laughs> so, positive. Juggalo yeah. positive. There's been a lot of storytelling. They, they tried to classify the juggalos as a gang. It's terrible. They're not a gang at all. We but need more juggalo positive. There's like stuff. juggalo co- positive culture. <laughs> yes. We're like creating a juggalo positive culture. Yes. So, but they are very, uh, it's like very inclusive, very loyal. Yep. Very much like, like, I have your back now that you're like you're you're helping us out and you know a Did lot of there's like a space for a lot of people who self-identify as freaks which I think most of us do on some level but they just uh, are vocal about it. Did you listen to the music? Yes. You did. I tried to. Did you did you listen? Because there's a song called "What Is a Juggalo" and it explains what a juggalo is. Yeah. Did you hear I that mean, one? I, not really, because I'm going to be honest in this vein of living authentically. The yeah. music frightens me a little. It is scary. I really do feel kind of scared by it. Do you want me to tell you what a juggalo is according to their lyrics? Uh, sure. He's not a phony. No. He'll a... come in your house and bust a nut in your macaroni. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you know, I don't know. Because that way it kind of clarifies more. That is, that really is that that is the realest thing you can do. Yeah. <laughs> bust a nut. I mean, that's how I know if I really want to know the measure of a man. And then no yeah. I ask, can you bust a nut in the <laughs> macaroni? <laughs> of course. And then the answer to that. He'll, he'll drop his uh, his his nuts in your soup. <laughs> <laughs> you know, a lot of people don't know sure. that about the juggalos. But that's They're very. I mean, they're real. Oh, no. they're, they're, it's, it's the real deal. It's the real deal. And I really appreciate that. I mean, they're living, they're living it. They are. They live it. Yeah. And that's. I mean, that's got to be intimidating when you're making a movie about juggalos because if you fuck it up, they're gonna be pissed. Oh, for sure. That I was very aware of that. I felt yeah. very aware of that. And I mean, it's like you want to do. I just, you know, it's like you want to. Generally, I feel like people come from a place of a great. You know, there's a lot of integrity. At least it starts with that. Mm-hmm. So I was. <laughs> yeah, I, it, yeah, start, it starts there in the beginning, <laughs> and I want. You know, it felt. It felt like that. It felt very important to. You know, be appropriately respectful to the to the community. But you're not you going to get a hatchet man tattoo. Uh, no, sir. Okay. All have right. you been to the gathering? Uh, I I don't know if I can. I mean, I have. Well, I just in your life as a person. I've never. I've never. As of yet, I haven't been. Okay, but you might. I've gone twice. It was actually. Uh, You've been to the gathering. Two I performed times? there. Yeah, twice. I, I was. Uh, you know, it, it was. It's comedians are scared to do it because so the they fir- throw rocks and shit sometimes. They were great. They were. You're they outside. literally do. They show. They sh- sh- throw. Throw feces. Yeah, yeah. If, if they don't like you, but they're, and they're kind of wild. It's, and no, no outdoor gig is they're, good. Yeah, they're kind of wild. <laughs> no other outdoor gig is throwing feces though. Um, like that's a huge <laughs> thing to get over. That like, would suck. Yeah. Yeah, I got. I, I got to I do mean, well. I mean, it's a legitimately mm. big deal to have someone. I've. And I wonder, like, what the logistics of that are. The gathering of the juggalos or the shit? <laughs> the shit throwing. There's probably a lot of it in the port of It's probably not hard to, to find. If someone sucks, you're like, let's just go over there and scoop I mean, it's so. a three-day festival. you got to yeah. defecate at some point. Yeah, oh, that's why I would stay there. I, I went in and out in one day. I, I went in. Because you want to go to the bathroom? Uh, yeah, I wanted to go back to the hotel. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a hotel guy. I'm yeah. not an outdoors person. Yeah. Right, right. It's not your natural but, habitat. But they no. were much nicer than I thought they'd be. We they're have to very, wrap, in, we have to wrap very, in a minute, very by the way. Nice. We're going to get cut very off. They're very, very nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, they're, they're wonder. I mean, I, I really genuinely mean that. There's like a real deep empathy and desire to kind of connect. So you've got inmates and juggalos now on your side. This is I huge. 